Anyway, what's up guys? Thank you guys for tuning in. We're starting a little late, but we're eating, so we figure we'll get on cam and start just talking to y'all. <laughs> we got Battle Rap Chris here, and we got Alcatraz, first time on watch. What up, Hi. what up, what up? Let's go. How you guys doing? So? People are loving the pizza. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, I go to New York, I gotta bring back pizza. All of a sudden, I'm like, wearing, wearing lugs when I get back. It's <laughs> cold, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Alcatraz has an event coming up. Domestic Violence 2. Is that what you're calling it? That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's the second one. The very first one, believe it or not, um, some of the battles fell through. Um, but that's also where we got Strict versus B Dot from. Oh, on mm. that, that card. Right. Um, I think we had Fly King versus Diana on that one. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Diana, but Diana, no, I know Fly King. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, are these all uh, male versus female battles? Minus two of them. Okay. Um, but you know, domestic violence doesn't have to be just man and woman. Right. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> you know. Good so point. Definitely. Um, you know, but it's definitely January nineteenth, man. As people can see, um, we're gonna definitely do VOD. Mm. So people will be able to Hell yeah. purchase that, you know, have that ready for hopefully, you know, a, a week right after the, uh, the actual event. Where can and, they find it? Uh, I'll have all that information soon. <laughs> but follow us on LA Battlegrounds, at LA Battlegrounds, Instagram, you know, YouTube, the LA Battlegrounds. Everything is LA Battlegrounds with a Z, and they can stay up to date with all that information. Because my part, my business partner is actually the one. He's actually still setting up the page, mm. so that's why I don't have the, cool. the the Vimeo yet. Let's take a second to shout out the graphic designer on this. That is what I call a nice, clean flyer. Yeah, uh, it's good. Yeah, uh, you just need a couple faces. You don't need thirty faces on the flyer. Yeah, uh, you need a couple faces. <laughs> uh, you know, it's clear. Uh, mm -hmm. I know who's on the card. I know where it, where it is, when it is, and uh, yep, and it looks different. So, so nice. I'm yeah. unfamiliar. I'm just gonna be honest with Tori Doe. That's how you say her name, right? Yep. Okay. Tori um, Tori Doe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tori Doe. Is she, uh, <laughs> if she was French. Is she uh, a woman that's been on your platform before? Mm -mm. No. They're all touching the platform. All the ladies are touching the platform for the first time. Really? Mm -hmm. Are they? Where are they from? Queen of the Ring? Yes. Okay, cool. Tori Doe and Bonnie Godiva are. Ash Cash, I believe, also has done. Uh, oh, uh, great. I, I didn't realize Ash Cash was Yeah, Ash Cash is battling great. Element Rhymes. Mm -hmm. And um, Nubia Styles is actually from San Diego, and I saw her because Lush hosted one of her battles, and he shared it. And I was like, what's this? So I watched it, and I was around the time I was looking for another female. I'm like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. So I put her up against Money. Money's a guy from Michigan. Has a battle uh, company called uh, We Got Who's Got Next. Okay. okay. Yeah. And um, I know. so he, you know, he battles too. So I was like, dude, he's, I was like, you want this battle? He's like, yeah, you know, I'll take it. Oh, hell so yeah. So it's like, cool, let's make it happen. Um, so if you see most of them, the only ones that are not are Primo Crees and Fijiosa and Dopey and King Hits are the only ones that are not. Okay. Uh, male and female. And are those guys who have risen through the ranks of LA Battlegrounds? Primo Kreese is working on it. Uh, Fijios has been around for a while. Yeah, He's, that, that looks familiar. Yeah, he you know, he actually was B Dot's first battle at our first L LA beef event. Right. Uh, the very first one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, his career is just kind of, some people elevate and some people mm -hmm. just kind of, mm -hmm. you know, they're there. So, you know, but but we, we fuck with him, so it's cool. Um, Dopey's another one that's really, really dope. Um, I don't know. He just hasn't had a breakthrough yet. King Hits is also really dope. He actually, King Hits got a PG, a URL PG. Uh, they didn't drop it, but he did perform. Okay. And, you know, he did his thing. And uh, it's it's going to be a, an amazing card. Just cool. Trust me. I hope I hope you guys are actually in the building, because I've been trying to get you guys to both come to the event. <laughs> when is January just, 19th? Uh, yeah, January 19th. It's so a Friday I, night. I may be snowed in. Uh -oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, but uh, oh, well, I'll cool. there, man. Get yeah, there, yeah, yeah. I it'd be have... nice to go to an event without. I'm sorry. Mm. It, it'd be nice to go to an event without having to work. Yeah, we're mm. right. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> have you you've been to LA Battlegrounds events before? No, no? I've never been. What makes so me neither? Uh, what makes an LA Battlegrounds event different than say anything else on the West Coast? 
Well, what it got known for was the elements that it was bringing together, which was a very, very street crowd. A very, you know, you had bloods and crips and, you know, essays from like different, like just different neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. But yet at these events, they're there to watch battle rap. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, don't get me wrong. Like me and Woods, man, we, he he tells me all the time. He's like, bro, he's like, I get nervous. I'm like, I do too. But You know, a lot of the guys have enough respect for the art, for what we're doing, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? The platform that we're giving people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look at a Dre Vicious, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, his dad now, he eats off of this. You know, he does his music. Mm-hmm. You know, like, the, that's a guy that started with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I think that's really what you get. You just get that real urban crowd. But... Lately, we've been getting a mixture card, which is what me and Ava were talking about earlier. The nerds are coming? <laughs> I don't call people nerds, bro. <laughs> I'll, I'll call them that. <laughs> <laughs> I, know what, I know what that means to, to me. Connotation. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a... It's like a segregate, a segregation word. It's a, <laughs> it's a segregation <laughs> word. <laughs> you caught that, right? No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. No, nah, but... Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, so, and that's been good because, you know, people can see it's like, dude, we watch the same movies you watch. Like, yeah, we're up. we fucking wear the same shoes. We like the same food. Like, yeah. we're fucking people, yeah, you know? Yeah, up. So it's not, not really to be all separated like that, although it is, you know, again, like me and Ava were talking off cam before, which was like, I feel like. When you look at URL, like URL is like the like considered like the street, you know, because mm-hmm. which it is, you know, New York, you know, that's and that's where hip hop started in right. the streets, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And KOTD is kind of like the, um, to me, more of a, how do you put it? It's a different demographic of people. Yeah, it's, for sure. It's, it's a different demographic. You get mm-hmm. more, especially on the West Coast, you get more Mexicans, more whites, mm-hmm. you know. And some might show up to a URL event or mm-hmm. show up to an LABG yep. event. Yeah. But they'll for sure, like a KOTD crowd shows up to like the IE events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. they, they show up to those. Like, so, you know, I'm trying what to bridge the, the ground. The, what yeah. was the crowd like at, uh, so, uh, Avocado, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle was <laughs> recently, <laughs> I watched the interview. Um, <laughs> Kyle, uh, you were at URL. Yeah, uh, filming this weekend, like um, in the I don't know dozen or so URL events I've been to, I'm one of the few white guys that are even in Irving Plaza. You know, when there's yeah. 1,500 people there. Yeah, um, and in, um, so yeah, I was just curious, like with this invite only uh, crowd, was it different? Was same it, deal? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like me, me, Jeff, Patrick, Mike P, Iron Solomon. You can name him on one, two hands. Patrick, you know the other Patrick? Yeah. Uh, smack stage dude. Oh, yeah. The, the white guy on Pat. smack. Yeah, yeah. Pat. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't Six. Know how many people? There's like 50 people there. I'd pretty good. that, maybe. At first, they were like, there's going to be like 100 people there, and that the venue, that room, is not that big. And I was right. like, ah, oh, shit, that might suck if there's 100 people. It's going to be crowded. Yeah. It got hot really fucking fast, too. Yeah. And it was snowing outside. Everybody looked at me like I was crazy because I didn't bring a coat, <laughs> but I was like, I'm not I going outside. I was the pictures on that. I was like, why didn't you have a fucking coat? Yeah, I wore a fucking loud-ass floral shirt out there. Cortez got super pissed off the whole time. He like brought up three times throughout the night. He's like, oh, your shirt. What are you, what are you wearing? He's like, you just want people to know you're from Cali, don't what, you? Like board shorts and Birkenstocks. <laughs> like. Yeah, well, I didn't go that far, but yeah, but like, Dude, it got so hot in there that like after the first bat, th- after three battles, I'm s- honestly I'm still not used to how long URL battles last. Yeah, I'm still not really used to that. So th- they're like an almost an hour. Yeah, you know, even in this format, there were like around forty minutes each, and it that's that's a lot. You know, was like, there a, was there a noticeable <clears throat> decrease in crowd yes. reaction? Yeah. Okay. A lot. Great. Like there was there's there's still a lot and then once like the liquor started flowing through mm-hmm. the night there got more and more. But I don't know, I thought that was really fucking cool. Yeah. But after the third battle I was like fucking I was smoked and I was like dude, like that floral shirt was like drenched in sweat. <laughs> I walk outside and my whole body was like steaming like a superhero. I yeah. felt fucking awesome. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to send a picture to Diz. I'm like, this is what you wanna look like. <laughs> Man, I uh 
I went to the uh, the PG's. I'm trying to think which one it was. It's like the one of Chef Trez earlier uh, PG's, maybe first PG. It wasn't there. Wasn't a lot of legendary uh, turnout from that event in New York. In New York at yeah. um, what's the what's the record shop? The legendary record shop. But um, Fat Beats. No, no. It's like legendary for a bunch of. Like super famous black star, mm. black star. Thank you. You went there? Yeah, yeah, I went oh, there. Oh shit! A you few know times. it's not there anymore. I know. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. yeah. That's awesome, dude. Uh, yeah, I covered a bunch of stuff, kind of in the 2014 shit, to 2016. Where Lux battled Miles. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I was—I remember being in there, being like, I'm yeah, like on 135th or something. They uh, said in I don't know. Yeah. Lennox or some shit. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah, right. Near Martin. Luke, yeah. And that was like a. Bullet that was like. A, I think there was a club there before that. Maybe. Back in the day when yeah. Busy B used to rock. Okay. Shit, so oh wow. I so believe if I got it right. Generations of history. Um, it's amazing. So, but uh, I remember being in there and being like, so hot that uh, <laughs> who was it? It might have been. Oh fuck, man! It's crazy how much I've forgotten about battle rap uh, in the last year and a half. But yeah. it's like, thank you, Trez versus Dre Dennis, Brett. Shout out. <laughs> what are we that doing? Was the event. And um, <clears throat> so it was. Yeah, I just remember like. Maybe Sammy Wild 100s, who, who like looked at me and he was like, "You're sweating a lot right now." <laughs> like, Sammy Wild 100s is like not a thin guy, and yeah. when, like the fat and fat guy is like looking at you, being like, "Bruh, like <laughs> you, this is bad." And I'm like, I'm wearing a button up, rolled up with an oh. undershirt under it, Jesus, <laughs> man. drenched. Yeah, and I'm like, and like it was 40 degrees, like 40 degree New York day outside and. 50 degrees, I'm talking Celsius here as a Canadian. Oh, word, word, word. So, I don't know. I was about to be like, that's cold. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that's the equivalent of like 180 degrees, if my math is, isn't off. Um, so, I walked, and I was like, oh, I gotta get outside. I get outside, and I asked, you know, one of my battle rap guys, I was like, yo, I need you to go and get me a pack of white teas anywhere right now. Because I cannot be on camera interviewing Loaded Lux with fucking sweat, sweat. <laughs> dripping down. Yeah. Uh, so he went, came back, and I put the shirt on, and if you look at the interview with me and Lux, I'm wearing a crisp white <laughs> V-neck <laughs> tee. Oh, yeah. So, and white is Let's not go. what you want on camera <laughs> yeah. in the first place. And it's like me in like dried sweat. Holy no, what interview you're talking yeah. about. Dried sweat. I was like, I've never seen that full wear of V neck before. <laughs> like, I was like, what is he like switching up yeah. because he's in New York or something? I don't know. It's bad. It's a good interview, but I think every comment is like, don't ever wear a V neck. And it's like, <laughs> I very specifically don't wear V necks because I'm a hairy guy. Because you're a, I'm man. a hairy guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know. You got to shave it down, bro. Yeah. So what I'm saying is I love New York. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> word. Yeah, it was hot, man. It was fucking hot in there, but the battles were fucking super cool. Um, it was quite an experience filming out there. Small room. It was like, I, like whenever people say this, I really take it with a grain of salt. People are like, it's trending on Twitter, you know. Mm -hmm. But multiple people told me that, and a lot of people said it was number one, which it's like I'm so hard to believe. So I think there, are, I've seen that a lot, and I think that there are local yeah. trends. Yeah. Um, so geographically local, but also. Um, kind of uh, networked local, so it's like, this is what's trending in your Twitter follower, yeah, your word, Twitter community. Word up. So it's like, oh wow, it's trending. Um, so in terms of like global number one trend, yeah. I think that that's less likely that maybe they did. I, I think that you know it's rare for that kind of thing to ever breach, but um, but trending even a little bit is means it's people are talking about it. Yeah, right? yeah, it was cool. It was a cool experience, man. Battles were super fucking good. That's dope. Um, like we were talking about uh, with Iron and Nitty was super dope, and I was so like proud. Iron did super good there, you mm. know, bouncing back after getting beat by Omac. Yep. And uh, everybody did good, man. Like JC and Twerk started it off, and that so was fucking I, crazy. Let me just interrupt you a little bit before you move on from <clears throat> Solomon and Nitty. You want to like talk about that battle? I do. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Have you seen it, Alcatraz? No, okay. um, but I was, I was actually stuck on the fact that you said he lost to Hill, man. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did. It was yeah. close, but yeah. he did. I gotta yeah. rewatch that then, because uh -huh. in the building, I felt like uh, I felt like Iron Ticket. Really? Yeah. I mean, Crazy. I was right there. Yeah. You know, front and center, and yeah. I was tripping out, and I was like, okay. Um, the only thing that I didn't like was when he tried to get tough, and I was like, right. When Omar pushed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just fucked out of yeah. here, dude. Like, I mean, you gotta you gotta also <laughs> be aware that Kyle is incredibly biased. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. True. I true. I, I am. Mm-hmm. I am I mean, super biased. From the grind time days, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just mm-hmm. doing watch, and you know he pays me a lot of money, so right. Ilmac, yeah. Ilmac, I'm on a, a stipend with him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I haven't seen the battle either. I've seen all of the buzz kind of as it was happening, and also the subsequent buzz over the last that's carried over the last few days. Yeah, word. And um, I'm excited to watch it. Uh, but what what I think is kind of uh, or what I, what I want to tell you is that so Solomon versus Nitty was a match that no one saw coming. Yeah, and that no one liked when it got liked. announced. Yep, and. I saw it, I didn't see it coming for this, but I knew that it was something that Solomon wanted to do because a year and a half ago, maybe minimum, like maybe further back than that, I remember having a talk, like talking with, with Solomon and he was kind of like, so like this is kind of what I'm thinking for my next moves and what do you think about this and should I battle this guy? And he, one of the most pressing ideas on his, you know, hit list was Rum Nitty on URL in a small room. In a small room. I know. And when you told me this, I was like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Yeah, and that's not gonna happen. Yeah. And it happened, it happened, it happened. and it ended up being <laughs> super good. And like super good at the very minimum. Like yeah. we're seeing people um we were saying red flag um was saying like it's one of the top five battles of all time. And it's like yeah. these things, you know, happen and then sort of fade down. Sure. You, know, you have, to be the top five battles of all time, you have to still be that for all time. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. for the next yeah for the next six months. Yeah. You know, for the next six <laughs> days with how fast battle rap moves. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So cool. I'm glad that he had the vision to do something and to execute on creating what his vision was. Yeah. That was, that's dope. I definitely have to watch it. Um, you know, you know the one thing that always tripped me out till this day. I mean, not to go back or anything, but what the fuck was he doing against Mook? Mm. Well, that I mean, I will say this. Although, yeah, were you there at that event? No. Okay. So that event started six hours late. Wow. Yeah. So I'll, just take that. Off I know of the that. history of it. Yeah. yeah, it started six hours late. There was nothing like that until that point. Five rounds, five minute round. Five minutes each. Um, they were the last battle of the day. After? After fucking Lux Calico, Enes DNA, Cirrus Jones, Charlie Clips, T Rex Averb, John John Hitman. Mm-hmm. Am I missing mm-hmm. one? I think I feel like that's it. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. yeah. So after all that shit, after fucking seven more hours of battles, you get hit with a fucking two hour triathlon. Five <laughs> five round Yeah five five minute main, round yeah. stage battle. Words. So it's like I feel like the it was weighted against both of them and plus it was like the crowd was just like fucking tired as living shit. They're ready to go home. They wanna they wanna hear five rounds. And they wanted to hear both those fools because I remember like when that battle got announced, everybody was super excited about it. Like Iron was a favorite, Mook obviously is a huge favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, man, there's so many bad, like, and plus, like... Okay, but let's take that out of the con- I mean, obviously... The content you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, but, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the way he rapped. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, he, that he, I uh, never understood, because I'm like... He took, a uh, he, he was telling, uh, some, I forgot, I, maybe you guys, he was saying that, like, he was listening to a lot of Bill Collector at the time. That's why he was doing the... Like, he was trying to, like, incorporate, like, a musical rhythm into it, which is, like, cool. I fuck with that a lot, obviously, because my favorite bad rappers are from Philly. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, I like melodic <laughs> shit a lot. Mm-hmm. But it, on, on that stage, it wasn't really necessary to do that. It right. was kind of the wrong place, wrong time. Because I was expecting so. to see, like, iron, the iron versus flames iron. Mm. Against Mook. Yeah, lines, you get what I'm saying? Punch mm-hmm. lines. Yeah. Just, like vicious lines. Yeah. Like, you know, fucking we wipe my ass, hit you in the chin. Now that's what you call a shit eating grin. Right. Yeah. Like that's yeah, what work. I was like expecting. So okay, but yeah. I mean it makes sense. And, and he tried something that didn't yeah. work. And I yeah. I think that uh you know the context is so important to that. But also it's like how do you follow up Lux Calico, which is yeah. a top five battle of all time yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of impact, and so it's like you saw that you s- and it's like okay, and now <laughs> for the main event, yeah, yeah, it's like exactly. no, 
Yeah, and we I've seen that happen. You know, so to so many so events where times, the, yeah. the peak battle usually catches that wave of like people like the first few battles can't be the battle of the night because people are still coming in, getting ready, and getting kind of comfortable. Yeah. And then the last battles, everyone's tired and the expectations are really high. Right. But the battle of the night is usually in the four or five spot where it's like. Yeah. All everything's come together. They've, you know, you guys have worked through any technical limitations that are popping up with the microphones or whatever. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that that, and also then when Calico and Lux is as epic as it is, <laughs> and then it's like cool. Yeah, I'm spent. Like, and people are walking out of Mook. Right. Yeah, they left. And what's crazy is Mook had some really dope material. Yeah. Like he fucked Iron up. Yeah, I'm a huge fan I, of Mook. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I fuck with Iron, but I mean, again, it threw me off the whole rhythm thing because I wasn't expecting to hear that, and I'm like, I'm like, maybe he's gonna stop, and I'm like, no, he did the shit for five rounds. <laughs> Every round was yeah. like that. So, you know, but honestly, man, Mook is the goat. People hate on him. Amen. That dude, that dude is that dude is the Michael Jordan of battle rap. Amen. Bro. I agree. Well, hardly. Yeah. I fuck with mm -hmm. Mook hardcore, and a lot of people are always like, when, oh, who's under Mount Rushmore? I always go like Mook Lux, Il and then the fifth is kind of always like Hollow or Arsenal or Diz. It's like kind of rotates, even though Hollow is probably my favorite battle rapper of all time. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, whenever I put Mook on, they're like, why would you put Mook on? Right. Like, he said the hippopotamus line. He's not that good. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you don't understand. He, like, built what we do. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, I remember back in the day when people would be like, I'm a battle rapper. So you're like the that Mook guy, right? Like, he was like, he was, he was battle the, rap. the face of battle rap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like. Same when I started running battlerap.com, you'd, you know, you'd meet people. And I was like, you know, do you know anybody? And they're like, oh, I know Mook. Yeah, exactly. You know, as a result of well, you Smack. also got to take into consideration another th reason that Mook was so popular. Well, two, he came in when cameras started being the thing yeah. on YouTube, mm -hmm. and he was on Fight Club, which was on MTV, mm -hmm. yeah. which was like the shit, mm -hmm. and he was winning on Fight Club. So you put those things in people. That's why they knew Mook because yeah. it was just like that's how Sirius got known too. Like yeah, Fight Club. You know what I mean? Fight Club. Yeah, like, and, he, and then he beat Jin. And yeah. then it's like, everybody knew Jin at that point from uh, just like the underground circuit. Yeah. Like, he and came to L. Park and, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. He did do 106 in Park. That's right. But his right. big win was defeating Jin for sure. Yeah, And for he sure. was the first guy to use like catered lines towards somebody. He was right. the first. And it was so fucking effective. And it was mm -hmm. comical. Yeah, it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was charismatic. It wasn't like some shoot 'em up shit it was like hilarious shit right. you know mm -hmm. right so yeah Sirius doesn't get enough love man for like what he is in the game mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, think, I, well, I think the battle rap fans are very fickle man yeah they, they are you know what I mean they're for just sure like, oh you lost one battle you're fucking trash right. you know mm -hmm. it's like like people like with Diz I feel like now they're like oh he, he lost to Tay Rock he sucks it's mm -hmm. like dude Tay Rock's like the fucking like one of the best in battle the world here. right yeah. now you know it's yeah. like he just like Diz arguably just beat Hollow the fucking Dawn like right. <laughs> like dude there's like you know it's mm -hmm. like fucking Mayweather taking on like Pacquiao Connor he, and then he lost else. to a guy that doesn't even speak English <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, no. yeah I forgot no. about the fucking yeah, Oxy Oxy yeah. yeah I gotta say though that that I was right there bro that mm. was what that, was that like live that guy was fucking amazing like his energy, bro, and like the thing is, when the way he talked as a Russian from a Russian standpoint, mm -hmm. and the politics he brought to it, like to me, because I like that's the one thing for me. I love content. I love bars, but the bars have to be submerging content. I'm not. I don't want to just hear. You know, I got the K and the cow, so you'll be on Channel Nine News. Like right. that shit's cool. <laughs> that shit's cool, but mm -hmm. what? But what is that connecting to? Right. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So. When Oxy was talking, I'm like, oh shit. Like, even when he did the, uh, was it the just styling on you? And I was like, oh my God, like, yeah, this yeah. dude is crazy. I think what made so, that, but I mean, what made that, there were so many things that made that battle special, but one thing that uh, I noticed was that, you know, we're talking so much of American media and American politics right now is America, Russia. Oh, Putin and Trump and Putin and the election and Russia and rigging elections and uh, is there collusion and all this debate. And one of the m uh, voices that you don't hear in this like debate or discussion is what do Russians think about this? I've never seen like a Russian government official speak on this. I've never seen a Russian person be like, oh yeah, this is what's going on. what is happening in Russia talking about, talking about America. Um, so this was the 
the Diz versus Oxymiron battle was really the first time I saw two power, you know, superpowers clashing right. and saying these are American ideals or these are, you know, and and having that debate. What? But what I didn't know either, prior, and I'm, I know a lot of people didn't actually, you guys might have, but I don't know who the fuck Oxymiron <laughs> was. And then I go look at him and I'm like, this dude's like on the Jay Leno of Russia. He's like yeah. on the news, and I'm like, oh, so this battle's about to be some shit. Like even for Diz, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like on the inter, because I know Diz has gone international and he battled Bowers with the big, yeah. you know, beard and shit. But you know, I was like, this one was about to be some shit. And sure enough, man, and I went. I, I never. Um, people are like, oh, he lost or whatever. I I thought that was one of those ones that was for the culture. I don't think you called the win. I didn't call the winner in that one. I thought. Mm. They, you know, Diz did his shit, what he, what he's known for, and you know, and and going back to the Tay Rock battle, mm. this is a thing. This is my opinion. You know what I mean? Diz, you can kill me, shoot me later, whatever, mm. bro. But uh, I don't think his, I think his style has proven that it does not fit the URL format. Mm. Well, in uh, my opinion, what he did in the Tay Rock battle, you're absolutely right. The last two rounds. Because he tried to get super jokey jokey and uh, it was like a complete miss. But the first hit hard. Yeah. I think he got the first round. So. Well, well, I thought he won the first round, but I don't. But I still think he was doing what he does. Mm -hmm. Like there was still jokey in there, but not so much joke because Diz has bars. I just think the way he delivers, that crowd is looking for something different. Yeah. They want to see the. You know what I mean? Right. The, well, you know, and, and I'll also say this: the reason why New Jersey Torque is so popular, and the big reason why he was in the, so popular in the room with JC, is he's like overbearing, right? Yeah. And a lot, I noticed a lot of people like Shug too is like that too. He's like oh, this overbearing yep. personality. Diz is totally like that. Yep. Diz is like this force. If like you get a little bit of power behind him, he just gets like he's like a fucking yeah. balloon, you know. And that's how he was like in the first. Like I remember like specifically he had that carrying rock on his back, and he was like stomping all super hard, and it was like fucking shaking the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that energy is like what actually like people like in the big stage yeah. smack you right. know? it's the same reason why the fucking the be uh, after the shot Beasley you know it's like mm. went fucking crazy because yeah. all the energy it's all crescendos in URL you know it's all about that crescendo right and yeah. then they don't do the multis too much over there no, not at all. you know yeah. the, the, the multi-syllables yeah. and but stuff I, like they don't the double time rap like mm -hmm. that's always to me been like from the grind time days yeah. right. you but know I think you could say that like Verb does multis. I think that you know mm. Briz Rostein. Uh, Briz has a bit of a Diz style, too, where it's that like aggression and that like yep. You know, I get what you're mm. saying. Yeah, I guess at that point then it becomes content. Mm -hmm. You know, and where they're from again. Mm. This and that's what I was telling him too. It's like some and again, this is not to take away anybody's credibility or nothing like that. But right. it's just sometimes with a certain crowd, they have to believe you. Mm -hmm. Whether you do the shit or not, you don't have to be. Right. The, but if you, but if I believe you because you sell it and your image sells it to me, then I'm engaged. Right. I'm locked. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Whereas, like when, when with other individuals, sometimes when I watch, it's kind of the same thing. Like when you listen to rap music, if I want to listen to some fucking lyrical shit or some thought provoking, I'm gonna listen to J Cole. I'm gonna listen to Nas. I'm you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna listen to Most Def. But if I don't, I want to turn up. I'm gonna call Lush and I'm gonna listen to Lil Pump <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna listen to Lil Uzi Vert yeah. Yeah. and I'm gonna listen to all the Migos and yeah. I'm gonna turn up. But I'm not to listening. Takashi six nine, you on that yet? Yeah, Takashi's yeah. the man, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but see, he's hard because I'm gonna tell you about Takashi. Mm. Um, and I know they're probably gonna start calling him a rapist, and I don't know what else. There's a lot um, of controversy. Thing. Yeah. Um, I'm super unfamiliar. He's with the Takashi. he's the rainbow the ra rainbow head Mexican rainbow kid grill. from New York. He has uh, six nine tattoos. Although I think those are fake, by the way. I don't know why I believe those are fake. I think it's a troll, bro. Really? Even the little pump. Like I don't think like. They found a way, tattoos? they found, yeah, I, well, I just think they found a way to market themselves. Mm. Say, hey, mm. dude, do some fucking weird ass hair colors and get in front of the camera with big guns right. and you, you have all these fucking bloods Both and crips and around yeah. behind you. And yep. how do you not watch that? It's a spectacle. I know. Uh, yep. But what I was going to say was what the kid's style reminds me of, and you could tell me otherwise, he, he his feeling, his energy reminds me of the Onyx. Yeah. 
Agreed. That's a cool. lot. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Like, that's how he, he comes off. Like, it's rah, rah. It's like yeah, that yeah. fucking Annie up. Yeah. Get that fool. Like, yeah. that's what it, that's Agreed. his energy. Yeah. But that's the turn up music. But when I listen to those guys, I'm not looking for fucking lyrical yeah, content. Yeah, it's all like, with like, what you're in the mood guy. in. For sure. <laughs> yeah. That makes a lot of how, sense. How am I going to pay attention to the lyrics when I'm stomping out a fool? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Word> <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't know. It's cool. Like, uh, I fuck with the direction that URL <laughs> is going in right now mm. a lot. Um, there, I feel like they're really hyped in the small room shit. Yeah. It caught it caught a really good buzz, and I feel like, honestly, I feel like it kind of ignited a little fire in Battle Rap that's kind of been a little, not missing, but I guess it like wasn't there in, in that area, like, of right. the top URL cats, you right. know? Now I see everybody being like yo who who would i battle in the small room everybody's saying that and i'm like and i gotta damn. prove myself in the small room well, yeah well, that's the up. thing in the small room they gotta really rap yeah mm -hmm. it's not no theatrics yep. and shit you yep. know what i mean i mean like you say you got the overbearing yeah but in a small room that's always been the case you yep. know what i mean that's yeah that's when you were in a small room you were always close yeah you know jen's been in that situation yeah. cassidy mm -hmm. like you know, when he battled Freeway, they were in a tight room, yeah. close to each other. Plus, know? there's not, like, all that crowd reaction where they get the chance to just walk around for fucking an hour and they, like, run it back and walk around again, you know? Which is good. I feel like even they like it, too, because mm. they're like, fuck, I can remember my stuff easier. I can get through it. You know, it's not so draining. You know, I honestly, I don't know how the fuck the, the crowds at Irvin Plaza do it. Like, dude, like, all those, like, I even, like... At Smack Volume One, I was like, "There's seven battles." After three, I was like, "Jesus, fuck, dude, this is long." Try going to a PG event where the, you know, <laughs> half of them aren't even that good. Yeah, you know, and it's a. Do they full, still have long three game. minute rounds during those? Um, I think so. They're still long fuck. battles. Yeah, that's insane. Dude. <laughs> They're counting how many slices of pizza. You yeah, eat. I'm hungry. It's dinner. <laughs> Let me grab some. Yeah, it's less than six. Sorry, I think it's maybe three we're or just, four. Uh, we're just bullshitting right now until Lush gets here. Lush is supposed to get here. Uh, um, in 15 minutes, so he's Lush out of his way. still late. But Fashionably yeah. late. Well, you know, sorry about that, bro. That's all right. Um, I'm not trying to toot our own horn, but, and of course, probably because we have a smaller audience, but all our events are always <laughs> small room. <laughs> yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, no, we've always kept that look, though, too. Like, yeah. I think the biggest one we went was um, the domestic violence one. Uh, we did Club Juicy Couture. Mm, okay. And that was the biggest one. The look was okay, but that pit feel has always felt a lot better. Oh, yeah. I mean, you a love lot the better. Pit too. Yeah, I mean, no, obviously, I think the pit is the best. Mm -hmm. You know, making the bunker was like my ideal setting, and I feel like everybody excels in it. Like, and that's, it's fucking obvious with Smack Volume 1 being so good. It's yeah. in a fucking pit. It's like, dude, it's just better 100% yeah. of the time. It's fucking better. I saw, I haven't seen the footage, but I saw photos that. Like, it felt really brightly lit. Yeah. Is that going to, like... No, no. The thing about that is I can't really do anything about that because it's like they shot it in what's called a white psych studio. Do you know, have you ever seen, like, those walls that are all white? You know, in a photo studio? It's like that. Yeah. Okay. So, light bounces all over the fucking place in mm. there. So, it's like we're trying to light a subject, and we can make it sort of moody, but, like, and also the brick wall. We got there. It wasn't my choice for the brick wall. I got mm. there. And the guy that owned that venue already had it up, and he was really excited about it. Mm. And I didn't want to be like, ah, tear that down, right. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but he was, like, super hyped, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe Smack will like this. And he seemed to like it enough, like, when they got there, so, like, we didn't t sell him to tear it down. But, yeah, like, the plan moving forward is to make it a lot more moody. I'm I'm definitely moving towards the warehouse feel. Mm -hmm. Like, if, we're, I, if we can all get it, like, an airport hangar, Honestly, do one on the fucking street, like actually in the streets. I was talking to Beasley about it. I'm like, dude, would you be down to just do one on the streets, Randall? Me, he's like, yeah. Who I'm did like, I see battle in the streets there? There was one event that got kind of cut short. I feel like that Big Aver, T when he Big was trying to battle. Yeah, Big Luke? T versus Big T. Yeah, Big T versus Who? somebody. I forget. It was in black and white, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was after some event. I remember. And too. we all we just kind of like piled over, yeah. and you know, the 1,500 people left, and yeah. 50 people went and did it on the street corner. And yeah. like, I just remember like being like. Like street corner in like Manhattan, yeah. you know, two blocks away from Irving Plaza, yeah. And thinking like it's only a matter of time before a cop 
comes. For sure, and for sure. But there's uh, but we, we got it out. There's ways to control that too. Mm -hmm. And also the whole idea behind the Smack Volume series is that they're all VIP invite only. So there's no tick no ticket will ever be sold for one of those. So the secret event. So that yeah. that venue we just hosted Volume One at is not going to be the next one. Right. We're going to always change. Mm -hmm. the, there, I shouldn't say weird. The URL is going to always change <laughs> right. in other venues. So and um. <clears throat> Who is Gobble. say like the most famous person in that room? Like, did you have? Did it bring out Celebrity? celebrities or anything? Uh, you know, I'm I, I might be a little ignorant to that. Um, I feel like there was people there, but I was kind of like you know busy the whole time. I wasn't really looking out. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't think it. I honestly think a lot of people didn't come because like URL didn't let them come. Right. Like there was a ton of people I was reading online. Like, yo, I'll see you there at the event. None of them showed up, and I was like asking, and they're like, "Yeah, they just didn't come," or like, "Yeah, we like kicked a bunch of people out," you know? Like mm. when when we first got there, and when everybody got there, they were like, "Yo, don't let anybody fucking." They were like really like strict about it, you know? Mm -hmm. And it was in a really really secret location. Like you would, it was, yeah, you would never expect a battle to be there. Like I was like tripping oh. out, be like, "Man, what if some fool was shopping at this store and they just like, what the fuck? That's B Magic yeah. right there." You know? <laughs> <laughs> Go tell everybody. Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's. I was so sad that Magic didn't do well. Me too. I was, I, I was, I was disappointed. But yeah, you know, the, at the end of the day, man, like everybody's like, Magic needs to hang it up. Chess needs to hang it up. It's like, nah, not at all, dude. They're like really fucking talented yeah. people at, Magic, at their craft. You know, yeah, absolutely. Magic. Even I haven't watched the footage yet, but even after that, Magic's like still my favorite battler. Is he the Same best here. battler? I Same here. Like yeah, he's exactly. my fucking favorite. When he's on point, I think Magic is the coolest, yeah. the funniest, yeah. the like dopest flow, the best punchlines, the yeah. most unorthodox. It's so what do you guys think was the reasoning for him? Like, there shouldn't be no excuses at this point in the game. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. He should get docked for that for sure. And that's like, that's definitely, I'm not praising him for like either of them, especially Chess. Chess was really fucking bad. Mm. Um, and that's the only time Jeff has actually got really mad in a battle. He's like, that was so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's just choking and nobody was fucking cutting him off. <laughs> Jeff's so funny because he's like so not in, like, he's not, he knows a lot about battle rap because he watches and he like listens to the feedback, but he's not a fan. Right. So he'll be fucking just really brutally honest from an outsider's perspective and it's really funny. He filmed uh, Kayshawn and Danny Myers and he's like, Kayshawn's so fucking fun to film <laughs> because you know, Kayshawn's like all over the place. <laughs> Jeff was like, <laughs> <laughs> like loving it. it was so fucking funny, dude. Uh -huh. I was cracking up. But yeah, I, I, Chess is super talented too. It's yeah. just like, I don't know, maybe they just, they have a lot of things going on in their life, you know, they take battles when they know they shouldn't, yeah. the paycheck, you know, because at the end of the day, the, it pays pretty good, yeah. so... It's such high, it's so high pressure that yeah. to do that. Especially on that stage, man, you got around three minutes of, like, really good shit, it's you know? It's never been said before. Yeah, word, yeah, word mm -hmm. up. And Chess is, Chess is super young. I don't, magic chokes, man, and magic has no fucking choke, man. Like defense, yeah. dude. He's just like, I don't know, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's like he, <laughs> he's told me he's choked before I realize that he's choked. Yeah, we're does not. He have yeah. Is that does like has anyone ever asked him? Is it lack of preparation or like what? I, like, I don't think know. does he just forget his shit? Yeah, or? with think, ma magic's operating, magic's writing and flow is operating at uh, levels above what other people are doing. So for him to just be able to be at his best, so fluid with everything. The second, you know, it just, you know, there's a, there's a penny on the train track. The whole, yeah, you know, that's the a whole super good fucking analogy. It, 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 oh, it my God. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't, and it's like he's just done, you yeah. know. He was kind of, sort of getting back on track with, at uh, volume one, but yeah, it's like, it sucks because he's just like, like you can tell he's fucking up. He's like, and he's like saying words wrong, but he's like still trying to get it out. Like it's seriously like that. It's like his words go through a fucking cheese grater, and mm. it's just like. Like and he can't put them back together, and even he is, he's like, damn, damn, like yeah. saying damn, and you're like, God yeah. damn it, don't fucking say that, right? <laughs> yeah, because because this shit's fucking dope. Yeah, mm. he's tight as fuck. So, Magic is so you guys are both familiar with Saint, right? Yeah, hell yeah, he had the same problem for we, a while. We, we did when uh, we first started, he yeah. was doing that. But what I was gonna say was, uh, give him a couple more battles. Yeah, maybe like I'll say maybe two more. Might be ready now, but I'll say two, two to three more. He'll kill chess. Mm. Why is that a battle a lot of people want to see just because they're both young? I think so. Yeah. East-West. <clears throat> I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. East-West. They, they, they kind of, they don't look like each other, but I think yeah. there's a resemblance in, you know, the fact that they are young, the way they spit, they're very, yeah. you know, passionate. Yeah. Um, 
the only thing I think Taint needs to work on is uh, the control of the flow. Yeah, for sure. Just the control. Because Chess, even though he chokes, he has very good control of his flow. When he's in pocket, yeah. he's like, he gets his shit off and it's like, boom, boom, yeah. boom. Where Saint, sometimes it's a little bit... Da -da 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 -da. And it's like, and it's like, yo, catch it, and it'll be like, oh. But you might have, if you weren't really paying attention, you missed a whole, yeah, you know. But you know, who knows? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, I think he's he'll get a little bit better, or maybe that's just his style, and he'll grow fans that just want to hear that. He killed I mean? it against Eddie I, dude. He did so good against Eddie I. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Such a good guy. I mean, and, and Eddie I is better on film for sure. But in the building, I was like fucking safe bodied him mm. you know even though Eddie is the homie but I heard it's like debatable in film <clears throat> saves the shit I fucking love that I guy. like him too we did a watch with him uh, last time I was here oh word you were on that yeah yeah god damn dude <laughs> you yeah. forgetting yeah <laughs> I know it's like uh, who was on which one right. I, totally I mean, forgot you were there yeah, yeah. I mean, you've also done, like, you do a watch every night with, yeah. like, a slightly rotating cast <laughs> yeah, of characters. Yeah, it's sort of different. Yeah. Um, how many have you done so far? Three? Uh, I have done, this is maybe my fourth or something. We did one with the all-white cast. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, Kyle, <laughs> Frack, mm -hmm. and Sharon. <laughs> how did that go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you released those ones. <laughs> I released a couple. We watched one that I'm not going to release. Thank but you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a fun. And then you did the one with Saint. And then was there another one? I've done one. Nah, you did one with, where we ordered pizza. Yeah. What was that? I've done one? like ones with Ilmac and with Lush, but I forget kind of what okay, iteration. Okay. It's a regular thing for Chris and the pizza, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pizza guy. I just eat here. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, whenever I come to LA, I like to come get on, hang out. Hell yeah! Oh, and dope. I just like it's like, hey, what should like? Do you want to hang out for three hours and talk about battle rap? Sure. You want to <laughs> film it? Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, word. I know it's insane that I can just turn this thing on and people are like tune it. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, ah, it's just me eating dinner. You know? Right. <laughs> we have we have 350 people who are all saying, like. Who are all counting slices? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're talking about different things. 800 credit score. What the? Oh, yeah. Tig Biddy's 800 credit score that, white. That's, I was also on the bar exam with the the like good credit score episode, also with Sharon and oh, Bishop, yeah. Bishop Brigante. <laughs> oh, and shit. actually, Uncle Ra from 15 Minutes of Fame, uh, I was at a URL event. He just kind of came up and he was like, introduced himself. And he's like, hey, we do a, you know, we do a show. And I was like, Okay, like tell me. He's like, we do the bar exam. I was like, I want to be on the bar exam. Like, <laughs> I, I, I am familiar with the bar exam, and uh, yeah, and we like went out there, and Guy felt your thigh hosted it. He's like, it's the big credit score, and Sharon, <laughs> Sharon beat me, and I think I called him Sharain Man, which Shireen is Man. which which is why I beat him. <laughs> um, but it was fun. I just I I love I'm I love that you're going to New York and starting to like experience that yeah, side of yeah, battle rap culture because sure. it's so vibrant and there's yeah. so many other characters that maybe you don't see if you're not if you're only watching yeah um, and i i just love it out there it's fascinating yeah it's cool i they keep yeah. saying break the card down we did yeah well you you didn't well, tune in for the first three minutes might be tuning in just now yeah. so there's gonna be a vod domestic yeah. violence too yeah thank you um it's it's january 19th <clears throat> damn 2018 Fuck, shit Coming there, up. there is seven battles on the card. If you guys are in the Los Angeles area, um, come by. It's at 3954 Beverly Boulevard. That's in, you said it's in Long Beach? No, 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 that's right here in LA. It's yeah. uh, it's like actually like kind of Koreatown. That's why I asked, it says Los Angeles, but I thought you said Long Beach. Uh, Los Angeles, California, doors open at seven. Um, it's $20 at the door. Pretty cheap for a battle event. Um, Daylight versus Tori Doe. Strict versus Bonnie Godiva. Coffee Brown versus Danny Myers, Ash Cash versus Element Rhymes, Primo Crease versus Fiji Osa. Fiji Osa, man, Fui my eyes. Fui Osa? Yeah, I you literally. Know, I know, that <laughs> does look kind of weird. Like, right? My eyes suck though, so that's not a. Uh, Dopey versus King Hits and Money versus Nubia Styles. So that's nice uh, that uh, you take care of your audience who can't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word up. I just read the whole card. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, so I do have a couple questions that I wanted to ask you about the card. Uh, you seen a question on there that you want to ask? Uh, no, I had my questions. Before. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a similar question. Go ahead. So uh, 
let's start with Daylight. Um, so when was Daylight's last LA Battlegrounds uh, battle? Uh, actually, funny enough, he actually did a uh, one at the last event. I think was it Arcali versus Element? Ever Element right? Rhymes? Yeah. yeah, he did a one rounder. Okay, he, like do you know some who Element is? No, he battled in WRCs with Franco. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he's yeah. been around for a minute. Huh. He's just been trying to get like a role going. Um, so yeah, he battled him, and that was at our last event. Okay. I don't even remember the date, but I think it was our. When we were talking about uh, the kind of battles that we should watch tonight, and talking about LA Battlegrounds classics and the, the or classics and maybe just very memorable battles, um, was Daylight versus B Dot, and I remember that footage being like B Dot's as having it was a follow up to the Strict battle, yep. and having it be like such another. B dot performance, you yeah. know, B dot caliber, and daylight just being like, like punch drunk for all of it, and yeah. in the third round where it just feels like the walls are closing in on him. <laughs> well, I don't <laughs> look. I don't know the truth to it. I'll give you guys a backstory on that. So people, you know, daylight didn't come one hundred percent in that battle, right? Yeah, of course. He said that he didn't look at the location we had, and previous to the last time he had. Because he hadn't battled, battled at LA Battlegrounds in a while. We used to do them inside of boxing rings. Okay. Inside of boxing rings. Like, if you go back to, like, West Coast Red vs. Danny Myers, those are mm. all in boxing That's rings. That's a great battle. Too. Thank you. That's mm. a great battle. And, and um, <clears throat> so he said he thought we were going to be at that location. So he said he had all kinds of props and different things, pyramids and shit that he was going to build <laughs> no. to battle against B-Dot. Right. This is what he told me. Uh -huh. So... When he seen he didn't have that room, he improvised, and he did what he could. Right. But you're right because I, everyone said that that battle, he was feeling what B Dot was saying to him, and it was like, that's why that third round he was like he kind of got serious. It was like you know what do you know about you know being in the hood and like I don't want to fucking glorify that shit and mm -hmm. you know the way he was talking. So you could tell, you know. But that was that was a that was definitely another B Dot performance, and then. You know, I think I believe we got Battle of the Year 2016 with Danny Myers versus B Dot. Uh, yeah. B -Dot. At yeah, least yeah. that's what some of the I think popular we bloggers put it on our list. Said. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if you one. agree the, or not. The journalist. Nah, that was amazing. Okay, because sure. I think I the only the one that was like mm -hmm. that people were talking about competed with it was Av versus Rum Nitty. Mm. Oh yeah. But then people were like content wise. Yeah, we're. I mean, I. Yeah, I mean, it, I think that's a, a style preference at that point. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think both of those battles are were like you know amongst the best battles of the last five years kind of thing like if not longer in, you know in the top fifty of all time yeah um, both yep. of those I think I was there for Nitty versus Thank Av you. and it like I knew exactly what I was expecting going into it and it exactly met those very high standards and yeah. um, it would just that energy and just the con I mean, it's the content of that and it's <clears throat> what you were saying before about do you like bars or do you like angles and structure and you know B dot isn't a punch every two bars guy so people are like oh well he's barring or like why isn't he you know why isn't he saying anything it's like well you didn't listen to you know the 16 bar breakdown or the 60 bar breakdown that's like interweaving all of these different themes and all of these different word plays and references and stuff um, yeah. So it's like it's, again a style preference, but I thought they were you know both of those were filmed beautifully and like had that impact that you want when you're watching a video. Right. How did you guys feel about his work against Cortez and uh, Averb? What did you guys think? B dot. Yeah. Great man. I thought the Cortez B dot battle was fucking incredible. Um, I thought this battle with Averb was fucking amazing and like. Honestly, the thing about B Dot is like that fool's battled like what, like three people in the past like four months, and they've all been incredible. Right. And yeah. you know as well as I, he wasn't somebody that did that before. Mm -hmm. I remember right. asking him to battle, I think Cortez. I was like, do you want to battle Cortez at the bunker? And he said, or I, I don't know who I had lined up for him, but I like reached out to him, like, do you want to battle at this, this bunker thing I got going on? It was like one of the first cards, and he's like, no, nah, I got uh, Danny Myers in in five months, so I gotta, <laughs> <laughs> gotta give me some room. And I was like, damn, okay. I was like, that's shit. You, you take like one battle a year or something? And then now he's like, every month he's doing battles and having fucking like round of the goddamn night with his battle with Emerson right. Kennedy. Right, I gotta you see know? that. That shit I was gotta crazy. so good, dude. Man. Oh my that shit god. That was crazy.